Good day, students and lecturers, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to first thank the Institute of Islamic Theology and Religious Pedagogy for the invitation to present my lecture on Continuity and Change, Islamic Education in South Africa. Germany has fond memories for me as I studied in this country and I graduated with a PhD from the Johann Wolfgang Goethe University in Frankfurt. First of all, I'd like to start off with the historical background to the early efforts to establish Islamic education in South Africa. I shall focus on three tertiary Islamic educational institutions that emerged in the Western Cape after the end of apartheid in 1994 and the inception of the democracy in South Africa. The historical background. Muslims arrived on the southern tip of Africa in 1658 from the Indonesian archipelago, followed by 150 years of political exiles, convicts and slaves from the islands of Southeast Asia and some parts of India. The first figure to be associated with Islamic education is an exile from Indonesia, Abdullah Qadi Abdul Salam, who died in 1807 and he is known as Tuanguru. Tuangu, after Tuanguru's release from Robben Island, he established the first mosque and Islamic school or madrasa in Dorp Street, Cape Town. In 1860, Sheikh Abu Bakr Effendi, who died in 1880, a Turkish scholar who had come to the Cape at the request of the British colonizers established a school of higher Islamic education. This was the precursor to the Islamic seminaries or Darul Ulooms and the community based colleges that emerged much later. It is due to these early efforts of Islamic education that Muslims were able to preserve their faith and identity in a predominantly Christian society. The Muslims make up now about 2% of the total population of South Africa. Since 1955, departments of Arabic and Islamic studies have been established in South Africa, including the University of South Africa in 1955, the University of Durban Westville in 1974, the University of the Western Cape in 1974 and the University of Cape Town in 1986. The community inspired higher education. There are many such community inspired colleges that emerged, but I will just discuss two in the Western Cape. First, the Newcastle Islamic Seminary or the Daru Ulum. Uh, sorry, it's not in the Western Cape. This is in the um, in KwaZulu Natal. Historically, Muslim religious leaders, that is your sheikhs and molanas, have graduated in the Middle East or the Indo-Pakistan subcontinent. But since the 1970s, South African students could study traditional Islamic education at local Islamic seminaries. In 1971. The first Islamic seminary was established in Newcastle in the KwaZulu Natal. This Daru Ulum or Islamic seminary was based on the 18th century Darsi Nizami traditional Islamic syllabus from Dioban, India. The aim of the Newcastle seminary, like most of the Islamic seminaries, uh, is to preserve the Islamic faith and Islamic identity. The subjects taught were traditional um, Islamic subjects such as the Quran, the prophetic traditions, the Hadith and the Hanafi legal school of thought. The method is mainly transmission of classical Islamic texts and memorization. A lot of emphasis on memorization of the Quran, of Hadith, and so on. 